Hi, I'm Cameron Mixted, and this is Todd Treweeks, uh, construction supervisor for Mixted Sports Turf. We're out here in the mighty uh, Hutt Valley on Delaney Park, where we're doing some primary drainage upgrades. Um, this park plays home, Todd, to cricket, rugby, and football. Yep, that's correct. How many thousand metres of, of primary drainage have we got in the ground here, Matt? So we've done uh, 4,600 odd metres of uh, lateral drainage, yep. um, and also a collector drain. Uh, which is, spans about probably uh, three, four hundred metres long. Whilst there's a lot of fall in the field, um, across the field and heading down towards the, what would you call it, the northern end of the field, yep. um, it's very up and down uh, across the field. So what we've done is, we've, uh, Chris has surveyed um, the field prior to us doing the work and um, we've used the laser guided equipment, our, our laser on our, um, our trencher, and we've followed the laser um, to grade um, and eliminated the dips and hollows yep. in the field. The peaks and troughs. Yep. Nice. Cool. Yep. Cool. Yep. Now beneath the sand, we've, we've got about 50 mil here, you say, of, of sand depth, yep. and then beneath that is, uh, is gravel. So that's so sort of dig down. chip gravel. There's the chip there. Angulated, not round, eh? And so yeah, the chip uh, right down to the bottom of the trench with yep. the uh, 110 overflow in the bottom. Surrounding the, the punched um, coil. Yep. Yep. Typically the, these sort of drains, they, they, they capture a couple metres either side. How would we come back to improve the, the drainage on this sort of field um, at a later date if, if this wasn't enough? Like, well, How would we intensify that, do you think? So as you know, this is primary drainage. Um, so we would come back with our secondary drainage being either either one of two options, uh, gravel banding um, and or sand slitting. Yep. And the sand slitting being the more evasive uh, process where you've got a 50 mil wide uh, trench a metre apart, mm. um, which removing material intersects yeah. all of these, these lateral drains. Um, the gravel banding is, is just a, a smaller version of that um, with a, a a 25 mil wide uh, cut, yeah. um, again with with gravel and sand, but um, a, a much closer spacing of uh, I think it's between 400, four, 400 yeah, yeah. spacing. And that's injection, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, rather yep. than rather trenching. than trenching. Yeah. Yes. Some of the logistics on site you, you've had. Uh, you... So what we've what we've had to do is um, with it being such a large area to trench, obviously that generates a lot of material. Yeah. So one of the the main uh, Logistical things is is having the sort the spoil pile going out the gate as we're doing our trenching. Yep. Um, obviously, we generated quite a large amount of material, so that that just uh, means a little bit of planning and a little bit of uh, juggling um, with with uh, trucks coming in and out and um, yeah, giving us room to sort of do what we need to do. So I know knows there's a, a cricket club here as well. What what would you sort of say to to the summer codes that um, you know imp improving drainage on a sports field through the winter? What does that do to them coming into into spring and summer? It means that they can have a quicker turnaround uh, at that period of the year where you change over from soccer, rugby to to the summer sports. Mm. Um, you know, traditionally in New Zealand, we can have a, a wet spring and yep. there might be a late start to yep. cricket season. Yep. Um, with the field being better drained, um, they, they can get on the field a lot, a lot sooner. Cool, yeah. Yep. And um, something we don't typically see um, uh, on, on jobs um, in the middle of a sports field is, is a bit of silt fence. So <clears throat> I just noticed out there, got some silt fence put up and that was part of the, the consent guidelines for the, the Greater Wellington Regional Council, was it? Like yes, that's correct. Um, there's a little bit of topsoiling for that field that we need yep. to do uh, yep. to fill in some of the, the dips and hollows on that field. Yep. And as part of that consent, because we have a stream running along the back edge yep. of the field, um, just, yeah, if, if we get a heavy downpour or rain while that work uh, is being carried out, that that silt fence is going to stop anything uh, reaching the, the stream. Yeah, that's about it for me really, it's um, been another another good job here in, in Lower Hutt and um, obviously the maintenance crew look after this park as well and we, we hope we hope that the handover goes goes nicely with them, we've had a few, yep. of their, a few of their team helping out here. Yeah, some of the younger guys who are doing their training have been helping us uh, do the drainage so they can get a bit of an insight yep. as to how it all goes, so yeah, no, it's been good, good team effort.
Cool. All right. We'll leave it at that.